you know, I was thinking yeah, I'd be really happy if it sold for 180, but you know, I got lucky and it sold for 196. Here's the deal. Everybody, everybody wants to flip houses. Everybody's like, damn, dude, I want to make $50,000 flipping a house. But yeah. you know, you and I both know that, uh, you know, they're just not like sitting on trees, right? You can't just be like, yo, I'm a house flipper today. And then you make fucking $50,000. So right. how does one go about, uh, putting together a deal where you make 55,000 bucks? Yeah. So, uh, so I found this deal from uh, direct mail marketing. So I'm a home investor franchise. We have the marketing phrase, we buy ugly houses. You've seen the billboards around Cleveland. I'm located in Columbus, Ohio. So that's kind of our catchphrase, but uh, you know, we do the same things that a lot of real estate investors do. So this, this seller contacted me on a letter we had sent out. <clears throat> so he was a older gentleman. I think he was retired and he had this rental property that, you know, he's owned for 30, 35 years and uh, he hasn't done any maintenance to it. So we get there and it's, it's kind of a sad, sad scenario. You know, there's a tenant in there with like two kids. I think she's paying like $600 in a Westerville school district, which is a above average school district here in Columbus. So this is, you know, kind of a perfect suburban house, uh, but it's just completely destroyed. You know, there's a few inches of water in the lower level. It's a split level, three level split, if you're familiar with those. <clears throat> Uh, but you know, it's just sad that, you know, there's a couple of kids that are below five and, you know, they're living in this environment, just junk everywhere. Uh, kind of, she was kind of a hoarder. Uh, but the, the reason why he had called me was the city of Columbus had started enforcing their code violations against the property. So if you look at the as is pictures, the exterior is just in complete disarray. You know, the driveway was destroyed. That was a violation. Gutters hanging. Uh, but the backyard was really quite amazing. You know, fence to fence, trees and sh shrubbery. Uh, it was like we called it a mini forest back there. Uh, so that was when, when I bought it, <clears throat> we had to fix those code violations right away. So the city was, you know, on our butts, like, Hey, this needs to be done at this date. You know, I took over the court case. The seller had called me at the point where there is an active course case court case against him. And he has until such and such date to fix those violations. So when I bought the house, I became the defendant in the court violation case. <clears throat> So I had to fulfill their, their dates and to their standard, you know, but it was the utmost urgency for us, you know, working with the violation officer, you know, she was over there multiple times to double check our work. And I was like, Hey, you know, is there anything else, you know, we want to work with you guys and they're really appreciative of that. So it, it is kind of a, it's a tough process. Like the, you know, the, when I go into the court, the uh, administrator there, you know, they're really friendly and they're understanding and all that. Uh, but then, you know, the violation officer comes out and they'll be like, oh, you know, thanks for, you know, doing $10,000 worth of landscaping. Uh, but, you know, now that we see the windows broken, uh, you're going to have to fix that, you know, immediately. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's, uh, that's the experience uh, most people get when they deal with cities. That's, uh, right. that's pretty much a nationwide, uh, that's a nationwide occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, she just, yeah, Go ahead. I was going to say, she just kept adding stuff. And, you know, finally, um, after a few months, we, you know, I, I had my court update case and, you know, I was like, Hey, you know, we've done everything. It seems like you guys keep adding stuff. You know, we're happy to do it. But at, you know, at what point uh, does this end? And he's like, yeah, you're right. You know, you guys have done a great job. Uh, you know, we're going to end the case here and you know, you're good to go. <clears throat> now th this house, right? You bought it. We got the numbers up on the screen. You bought the thing for 12 grand and you put $110,000 into this sucker. 
So you did a renovation that is literally almost 10 times what you actually paid for the home. Uh How important is it for you to find properties in such a distressed state to be able to pull off the big payday, right? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I think you can find these profits, you know, on any house. It just kind of depends what the seller needs and if you're the right fit for them. Are you a lender? If so, Holt & Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to holtonwise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holt & Wise TV today. You know, most of the time when we get calls, we're not the right fit for buyers. So, you know, we suggest them to other routes. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've made similar paydays to where, you know, I've done nothing you know, to the house, uh, you know, the seller just wants out of it, you know, we pay him and, you know, we list it basically as is, but, uh, you know, this scenario, <clears throat> I had to get it at that price. You know, when I, when I initially bought it, I was suggesting a $100,000 rehab, you know, and once you get up to these bigger rehabs, your variance of those large projects, you know, it's, it's riskier. So I take that into effect and it affects my purchase price. And, uh, you know, I ended up getting some help on the back end to where, you know, I was thinking yeah, I'd be really happy if it sold for 180, but, you know, I got lucky and it sold for 196. So, you know, without that, you know, now it's a $35,000 profit and that's not, not too sexy, you know, for that amount of work. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.